Hey guys, <laughs> yeah, so after long hours of testing and then validation, I was able to crack the CV 2021 challenge, uh, practical exam. And I thought we could just record a video for those who will be struggling to do this, or probably those who would love to do this, um, to maybe follow a walkthrough. That doesn't mean you have to copy exactly what I'm doing, but just understand what it what it's like researching stops like this and finding the way to exploit in them. It took me a while though, but um, for the first challenge, it was that was pretty easy because um, it was just following the instruction that they had given from the um, this task three. So, but I was able to make some changes. I will show you where I dumped my commands. Okay, great. So the first one was probably this. After much research, it took a while, but I was able to find out uh, that yes, by just passing that CGI bin and doing that URL encoding thing there all the way to the flag of text. Initially, I was trying the roots. Since they mentioned roots, I thought I would be like a root user, but that didn't work for me. But um, after a while, I realized that you don't really need the root user. It's just the root directory or the root path it was referring to. So I was able to do that call thing, that B, I would go all the way to that place and put the call. And that worked like a charm. You grab the flag, so call that B. Then we pass this whole string and see, that was how I grabbed the first flag. Pretty much cool. So for the second one, that was a bit heady because I, then uh, they had mentioned, although to use the technique, but you see they had to be one or two changes uh, in our case, because we're looking for that flag again in the root path. So I'm going to just grab this and show you. This video is going to be pretty short because I've done all the job in the background anyways. So I'll copy this and I'll paste this here. And we'll see that that will grab us the second flag quickly and pretty smooth. So for the third one, uh, um, that was also heavy <laughs> because if you go back to the challenge and look at it, you will see they had said CGI without, although um, what we have here looks like CGI without, but if you just copy this exactly, you know, this one, and do the stuff, it don't work for you. So because you had to clean it up a bit, to reflect what you're looking for. So in our case, it's the flag, the text in the root path. So I'm going to copy this and paste this. Also, that should work like a charm. You see, that was pretty easy. Then the fourth one, the fourth one took me a while because I had struggled with it. Oh no, I think this is the fourth one. The third one is this one. So this is the third one. Uh, was pretty easy. The fourth one was what took me a while because we don't have something like this there in the instruction. So we had to mimic this one here to be able to build this one. Well, it took a while, but I was able to figure it out. Then the, the final challenge was more like the, the nightmare. I had to sleep over it. <laughs> I was trying it uh, over and over. Things seemed to be working. So this one, you had to towards the root flag on port 8080. I think we already grabbed this one. This should be the root flag 8083. Let's submit some of these flags. I'm going to copy this and paste this here. Then also this one we grabbed already. I'm copy this and paste it here. Let's just answer some of those questions. Okay, so this one was just a read-up, although they left the hints, which I think I actually had used before in some of my videos, but um, it's the reverse shell online reverse shell creator. So I created this bash shell, simple bash shell stuff, uh, listening on my uh, Thorn Zero IP, then I just used the port 9001. So for cracking that challenge, uh, I had to stage, um, a netcat listener here then the challenge was what command you're going to use to 
uh, uh, I did a little bit of research on and I didn't find nothing actually. <laughs> then I decided to do the thinking myself and testing. So you can see I've got so many testing going on here. I'll just clear a bit. So after much testing, after much testing, it appears that this one worked. So you ask me, but how did you, how were you able to figure out what worked? I'll be, I'm going to explain and I'll copy this and paste this here. So let's do a bit of talking. So I was calling to that, yeah, fine. Seemed like the challenge 314, the being back. Then at some point I had to struggle locating where to paste the, the shell that was going to call back to my net cat. So I had tried this all the way here. It didn't work. It ran, returned no error, but nothing was granted to me as a shell. In fact, I even tried probably taking this whole part out and using verb suit to send this, then trying to insert this in verb suit, but still didn't work out for me. <laughs> that took a while testing all the possible options within verb suit, but I actually didn't pay attention to the fact that the way this works, after executing this to bypass, um, you are just throwing out all this more like throwing out contents. Then the echo, initially we had the cat command here. So in our case, we had to echo this command on a terminal to execute. So which means after reading all the code up to this block point, you need to pass this right here. So it's going to echo that and initiate that netcat connection uh, sorry, that bash connection back to you, then you can grab it with your netcat listener. So if I execute this, you will see that I got a call back on my listener quickly. So then to find the flag, I think to find the user, I just used the who am I, and that gave me this as the user. But to find the flag, I used the find on the root paths, then the name, I was looking for root.txt. So threw back a lot of errors. I'm not sure why this initial initially did this. You can see all the no permissions, but they had advised that we need to elevate the privilege. So I do this sue root. Then I actually put the password which was given as a Apache CVE. So it took a while, but it was able to open the um, root session. I was just going to wait for that to open the root session. I think it did already, uh, but you see, this is kind of like a non-interactive. If I do the LS, um, it did, but you didn't see the bash, uh, like the shebang stuff there or whatever. So I had to look for a way to be executing this more like gel shell, <laughs> what called gel shell. I could probably upgrade this using the Python import TTY thing we normally do, PTY thing, but I think I ain't got time for that. So I'm just going to right here, I'll find that command again in my root path, then the name of the file is root.txt. Let's see if we're able to find it. And this time around, it uh, seemed like we found it here. So we're going to cut that contents of roots, uh, roots.txt. Let's see when we are able to read it, obviously, pretty much cool. So that's the last flag. We'll copy this and go to the panel and submit this flag. And we're ready. That's it. Anyways, I hope you guys love this and enjoy this uh, a quick um, final statement. It's always good to do that research. Well, it's not just grabbing and pasting and running. That's not what makes you that uh, cybersecurity analyst. You need to be able to think around ways on how to make stuff work. It took me hours, I won't lie to you, but uh, the joy is that I was able to figure out how to gain that shell and also uh, grab the flags to complete it. Thanks for um, hanging out with me. And I'll see you again in another video. Have a nice day. Bye.